Well, yesterday it was a big day for the GOP as they took control of the Senate and so much more. Tonight, a closer look at what drove that wave of Republicans' wins from Congress to stunning elections on the state level. Special correspondent Kai Jackson has more. Republicans across the country are seeing red, the color of the new majority party now in Congress. We did it! In the Senate, conservatives gained seven seats. In the House, where they already had a majority, they gained 11 seats. Pundits believe the victories were a statement of Americans' dissatisfaction with the president and his policies. I really respect the president and the role that he has, uh, the pressures he's under. But he has to understand that the people don't always agree with his mess, with what he wants to do. It was a clean sweep for the Republicans. The broom was big and swept across the country. James Thurber is the director of the Center for Congressional and Presidential Studies at American University. He believes the country could see a battle, Republicans approving bills in Congress, but getting vetoed by the president or the president using executive orders. There's going to be an overwhelming majority of Republicans in the House and the Senate confronting the president. We have divided party government again. We have gridlock. It's going to be tough to get things done for the president. It'll be tough for the Republicans to get things done, too, because he has to sign these laws. In addition to Congress, the GOP stunned in state governor's races, perhaps the biggest upsets in Democratic strongholds of Maryland and Massachusetts, where voters elected Republicans. Beyond the results of the midterm elections and the new makeup of Congress, some say what needs to happen now is for the president and lawmakers to work together. I would like to think that there's going to be hopefully some level of civility that could be restored to the American government. I think that's what's missing. Kai Jackson reporting.